This week, we're going to learn how to be best man at a wedding. <laughs> the best man's responsibilities begin well before the actual morning of the wedding. Your first duty is to oversee the stag night, which traditionally takes place on the eve of the big day. The stag night is an ideal opportunity to reminisce about old times, to renew old acquaintances. <laughs> But you mustn't allow the proceedings to get out of hand. Ideally, both best man and groom will be safely tucked up in bed by midnight. Because a sound night's sleep is essential. <laughs> the big day itself arrives. And now your first priority must be to get the groom ready in time for the wedding service. <laughs> One of your main duties as best man will be to organize your team of ushers. You should make sure that they're waiting for the wedding guests at the door of the church <laughs> and that they separate them into bride's family and groom's family. As your guests arrive at the church, you may discover that there aren't enough pews to seat them all. If this is the case, do try to be economical with the space available. <laughs> now for some last minute checks. Do you have cash? Do you have a pen to sign the register? Most important of all, do you have the ring? Are you sure? Are you absolutely sure? Fine. <laughs> Supporting the groom and providing the ring are, of course, a vital part of the best man's duties. The ring should be discreetly handed to the vicar in readiness for that blissful moment when this token of love and affection can be slipped onto the bride's finger. <laughs> A happy moment. The bride and groom are all together for the first time. The best man speech. Make it witty. <laughs> Make sure everyone can hear. <laughs> Your final task is to see the happy couple off on their honeymoon. Not forgetting the traditional ritual of decorating the couple's car.